Hi kiddos, it's Miss Elliot here to show you another art project. Um, a lot of the grade levels will be doing this, uh, K1 and 2, so if you have any kindergarten, first or second graders, um, siblings, feel free to do this art project all together on the same day and then switch up to uh, the other special area. I thought that would be fun as a family to do this together. This is something that um, I've done ev probably every, every year since I've been little. But um, I noticed that not everybody knows how to do it. So today we're going to make our turkey hands um, to celebrate Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, we're just going to make a turkey. But um, it's just a time to be thankful. So we're going to make our turkeys. I'm going to show you three different ways how to make turkeys. You can decide which one you want to do. You can do all three. Um, but I thought I'd show you three ways in case you have different materials at home. All right. So with this, we're going to do one is we're just going to draw it. So you just need crayons or markers in fall colors with white paper. So I'll probably do that one first. Then we're gonna do one where we're gonna cut it out and glue it. And the last one we're gonna do is we're going to paint it. So we're gonna start with the coloring one. So I'm gonna move my paper out of the way. I'm gonna move my paint. I just have one sheet of paper in front of you. It could be any color. I have chose just white so the colors stand out a little bit better. All right, so this is how we make our turkey. So you wanna make sure you have your, pen. it could be a pencil, a pen, a marker. Just make sure if it's a Sharpie, if you're tra we're gonna be tracing our hand and the thick Sharpies you can get all over your hand, it's really hard to come off. But um, I'm gonna be very careful and I'm gonna take my time and I'm, I have a sh uh, Sharpie, sharp Sharpie, so it's probably not gonna write on my hand. If it does, it's okay. But the first thing you do is you just put your hand down and you're gonna trace around your hand. And I have nails, so mine's gonna look a little funny at the end. And of course my ring was twisted, so that's probably gonna make a little bit of a dent in my turkey, but it's okay. There's my turkey and you're gonna close it off. And that's gonna be my turkey. Look, I messed up there, so. All right, so this is the turkey's head and this is the turkey's um, feathers in the back of it. All right, so the first thing I guess we'll do is we'll make some feet on our turkey. I'm using yellow, hopefully you can see it okay. You can also use orange. Then I'll make a beak, so we're gonna have a beak over here gonna make it yellow again and then I wish I knew what this was called I'll look it up while I finish coloring this this shows that it's a turkey so put a little line squiggly line over there and we'll do an eyeball okay and I'm gonna make the turkey feathers so I'm gonna make this first one yellow I'm gonna put a line down I'm gonna make this yellow I'm gonna make this one green this orange and that red and then I'm going to color the rest of this brown. I'm going to pause the video and color. Feel free to pause the video too and color with me. All right, there is my turkey, guys. I colored the feathers and the body. I wrote Happy Thanksgiving Day. A few things. I looked it up. That's called a waddle. And I, if you see, I added it. It's supposed to go on the top of the beak, so I added that. I'm going to put my name down here and put the year. Today is, uh, this year is 11 and then 2020. And then you could put away and next year you can put your hand and see how much your hand has grown. The last thing I think we should add is on our feathers, let's put what we are thankful for. So I have four feathers. So I'm gonna say my family. I'm gonna say my, um, oh, I need to get a new marker, one second. My next one's gonna be my job because I actually love being an art teacher. I'm so happy that I'm I get to do it every day. I almost put my art my job. Okay, and then I'm gonna put. Um, let's see. Gosh, there's so many things to be thankful for. I think I will put my dogs. I have two dogs. And the last thing I'm going to be thankful for is my food that I get to eat on Thanksgiving. I'm very happy about that. All right, go ahead and put your, what you're thankful for too. There's so many things you could be thankful. If you want to fill up your whole turkey, you can do that as well. All right, so that's one turkey. The next turkey we're going to do is the one with all the colorful paper. All right, so turkey's brown. I'm going to line up all my ones. I need a bigger sheet of orange. I want to yeah all right what we're gonna do is I want you to line up all your paper you have five pieces of paper I did fall colors again orange green yellow red and brown I'm gonna put my hand on it I'm gonna trace it on all the papers at the same time I move 
my ring this time. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna still hold them and I'm gonna cut them out once so I don't have to do it multiple times. I'm cutting off right at the, I'm cutting the black part off. I don't like seeing the outline still on my artwork, but you're more than welcome to go around it. I'm turning my paper as I cut, so be careful. This is really good for the kiddos that need to practice cutting. You wanna be able to cut really well as you get older. So the more you practice cutting, the better. So parents, let, let them cut. Just watch them as they cut. My kindergartners have improved so much since the beginning of the year. And that's because we let them practice. They have to be able to practice. All right, just be careful. Just always keep your fingers away from your scissors. All right, almost there. Feel free to pause the video if you need a little bit longer. I'm much older, so I actually don't take as long to cut. So if you need a little bit longer time to cut, or if your paper's too thick and it's hard, then you could trace your hand five times and cut five times. That would be really good practice for you. All right, if you see, we have all our different colors. Brown's gonna go on top. All right, so. I'm going to move my feathers. All right, and what I'm gonna do, these are my feathers, so I'm going to cut off my head, which is the thumb, because I don't want multiple heads on my turkey. That would be really weird, I just want one. All right, and then I'm going to put the brown one on top with my head, and I'm gonna move these ones around a little bit. So then you can see all the pretty colors you can do it in any order you want. And I'm gonna put my brown one on top. I guess I should staple this. All right guys, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna go get a glue stick. Sorry guys. All right guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. I think that's better than a stapler. On all my, my uh, leaves one at a time. So there's one, my, not my leaves, my feathers. My turkey feathers, two, three, four. I'm gonna push it down real hard. Get through all those layers. My turkey, there we go. My turkey tail was hanging out. There we go. Ooh, I really like how that looks. All right, now we have to add a couple of details because our turkey doesn't have a face. So let's add the eyeball. All right, I'm gonna practice my skills. I'm gonna cut a beak out. And look at that little part, looks like a really good beak. Put a little glue at the front of my turkey. There's my beak, oh, it looks a little big. That's okay though, so I'm gonna just cut it off. That looks better. We wanna do a waddle. I gotta use that new vocabulary when you get to your Thanksgiving with your family. Some of you might be staying home today I mean for Thanksgiving, but that's okay. You can still call your family, wish them a happy Thanksgiving. Tell them that you're thankful for them for being a part of your life. Last thing I'm gonna do is I want some little feet. So I'm gonna cut some feet. Let's see if I could put some toes and to make those look a little bit better. Need some more paper. I'm gonna go back to my scrap paper that I did when I was cutting my hands. I think I'll do a V for my toes. Feel free to do, make it look how you want it. Let's see how that looks. That looks kind of cute. It's probably have three toes, don't they guys? So my turkey today has two toes. I don't know the last time I saw a live turkey up close enough so I can count his toes. <laughs> Have you guys seen one close? All right. All right, and then on this one too, you can put the year, because since we're using our hand, it's always nice to put the year, and then next year, you look at it and see how much you've grown. So Elliot, 11, 20, 20. You could also put on the back if you want to do it on the, the butt of my turkey 
Um, but you could do it on the back if you want to. And you could write what you're thankful for again. Your family, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, um, st uh, stuffed animals. Maybe you're thankful for Fortnite. Okay, but I hope you include some family, maybe your friends, stuff like that. All right, our last one. All right, our last turkey today is a one we're going to get a little messy. That's okay, Miss Ellie likes getting messy. And we're going to do some painting. So I have fall colors. I have the same colors I've used for all my turkeys. And then I have a paintbrush that is a little bit wet. You don't want a lot of water. And we're going to use our hand. You got to be very quick when painting. So you want to start, um, we're going to do just like we did with the turkey. So I'll start with brown. The, the thumb and the palm is going to all be brown. You want your paint to stay wet or when you actually make your um, print on the paper, yeah, the it's not going to show up and then you have to start over. So you want to do, you don't have to do too thick, you just want to keep it wet. Um, you can do one at a time. You can do your palm print now if you think your paint's going to dry out, but I think I'm going to be able to do all my feathers too. So we'll do one feather at a time. There's some green, nice and wet paint so it transfers to the paper. Next I got orange. You do any order again. If you keep your paintbrush kind of wet, it should keep your paint wet enough where it transfers. Next we have is red. And last we have is my lightest color. I probably should have done that first. Let me wash my paintbrush really good so I don't mix any colors because red and yellow would make orange and I already have orange. They are nice and yellow. All right. Then you're gonna turn your hand over. Make sure you're quick with putting it down. Push on your hand everywhere where there's paint so it all transfers and hold your paper down and lift it up. <gasps> there's my turkey. I think I'm going to take the rest of my paint and I'm going to add my details. You could also wait till it dries and add your details with marker if you don't want to use more paint. So I'm going to put a beak on my, my turkey. I'm going to put little feeties on my turkey. Little toes. All right, I'm going to put that waddle. Oh no, I splashed water on it, it's okay. All right. I suggest you probably wash your hands before you do this, but Miss Elliot wants to stay on the video and finish it for you guys. And then of course, we're gonna add the eyeball. Let me try the other one. All right. And you could uh, wait till it dries, put what you're thankful for here. Put your name at that bottom and that year so when you save it for next year, you see how much you've grown. All right, kiddos, that's turkey hands three different ways. I hope you have fun. Feel free to make as many turkey hands as you want. Decorate your house for Thanksgiving if your parents are okay with it. All right, um, have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys after break. Bye.